I am Frankie Odom, and I uh, was born in 1941 in lived in Shaker Heights, Ohio. I knew I wanted to be an artist at a young age because of my sister, who was also a budding artist. And um, uh, my father took us to the museums and encouraged us. So we were, uh, we were growing up always doing art. And uh, when I was in the fourth grade, I was making a beautiful drawing of a, a crayon castle. I had a Kleenex in my hand and I was rubbing it all over the, the crayon to make it come shiny and make all the colors blend. And I said, I want to do this. I want to do this when I grow up. I first came to Monhegan um, in 1962. I married into a family who were residents of Monhegan uh, from almost the start and who worked and owned the, uh, the Manhegan store. So that was, that was uh, how I got to know all of the people on the island very quickly. Well, I was drawn here um, as an artist to, because of the beautiful um, uh, landscape and the idea of being on an island and being able to see all around you and look at sky and look at sea and um, a lot of my work is about sky and sea. I've really um, been able to use these as muses and it was all about one or two brush strokes, two or three and, and it's also always been that way for me. I wanted to have my work become as quiet and serene and um, and yet and yet compelling, um, and uh, I'm, I'm working toward that all this time, and I'm really excited about where it's going. Simplifying, uh, starting out with uh, one size square. I always, I never, I never worked with, on a square, but I decided I was going to do that. And, um, and just using a, a pen, drawing it, drawing a, what I call a scaffold, all those lines are scaffolds, and then going in and working into that and trying to find the balance and the, um, the energy of the piece. And it's just very small, but small can be good. And um, uh, um, less is more. I think it's the creative energy that keeps people alive. And uh, uh, Francis Kornbluth and uh, several of the other women artists who, who are elderly have been giving it all of their energy, all their lives, devoted to it as, child as being devoted to your children. This is something they would had to do, and it's something I have to do in order to feel alive. I'm sticking to what I have now, right now, I think. It's just, just beginning to open a door, and it's exciting. So, after a lifetime. <laughs> after a lifetime, that's right. Uh-huh. I like to die with the brush in my hand. <laughs> So peacefully. <laughs> Not today. <laughs>